what I go on everybody to them in a Montego Bay and when you in a Montego Bay them There can only be one and it's Pier One Good morning, man. I'm here. What a lovely morning, man. What a lovely morning at good. Pier 1. <laughs> yeah, man. Good to see people like you here today, man. Really good to see good people like you. Good to see like the real boss. Yes, you know, man. <laughs> some real food yes, for the real boss. Yes, man. Every time, you know. Well, you have food today, chef. Well, you know, I'm going to do you something special today. I'm going to fire up some shrimp for you, you know. I'm going to fire up some shrimp fire for you, too. I'm going to fire up some shrimp for you, too. I'm going to want some oxtail. <laughs> All right. Organic. Olive oil. Organic olive oil. Yeah. Good olive oil. Yeah. Put, put in the garlic. You can smell the garlic starting to come up already. Right away intense garlic smell. Organic seasoning. Onion and sweet pepper is what you're adding in there. You can smell the smell of the shrimp starting to pop up already. Pop up under, you know, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. So we have to go with good herb time. A little bit of that time just flashing. Just giving it a healthy mix. Always just keeping those flavors bubbling, keeping the flavors stirring. Pepper, you see? Yeah man, so let me see that scotch bonnet away you're going in there. Nice, you nice. got heat bonnet and a lot of flavor. Yeah. There's something going on right beside me. There's stuff going down down the line, just a constant barrage oh, of food going on in here. Something else right there, something up the line. Kitchen knife. Chef, just add in some water, rehydrate and put in some more water and put and give it a nice healthy so you can start to smell that shrimp pop up chef. again. Ready to start. You see the difference? Just a light Ready touch on serve. it. Perfectly cooked. No long talking, no long doing, no overcooked. Five to six minutes cooking, man. Five to six minutes cooking. You're not overcooking anything, no, you're no. giving it if as it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Nice and crisp. Every time. Yeah, man. Every time. So once you bite into that shrimp, that shrimp should pop with all of that flavor. All of that mixture of what went into that pot. So you, you know what? You eat this with a good white rice. A really good, a good white rice. A nice fluffy white rice yeah. to you serve it with. And you have it ready. There's something going on in the kitchen. Something going on down the line. The line is just full of beer vibes. I want right, in the kitchen. Add that fluffy white rice right next to it. And your steamed vegetables. And your right steamed veg right there. Ready for you, man. It's ready like ready. Oh gosh, and that's a ready Chef Bullion's like world ready. famous shrimp right Come here. Down here man, one. The place to be. going to be my first bite into the shrimp. The shrimp looks absolutely amazing. I mean you saw how he did it. Not a long sear on it. Not a long cook. Not overcooked. Not overdone. So you know that it's going to have that punch. You're going to have that crack and it looks absolutely amazing. It smells. Mm, I can smell the scotch bonnet pepper in there. I can smell the fresh seasonings that he put in there. The garlic is especially coming out. Mm. Very sweet, perfectly cooked, not overcooked at all. I'm telling you, it's perfectly cooked. The shrimp has that pop in it, still moist, and it has taken on that seasoning. I'm going to dip and go into some of that work around, some of the sauce onto it, so we get some of that scotch bonnet, some of that veg, all of that into it. 
and then come right back up now and start again with a fresh one. Mm. Yeah, man. See, eh? that's a scotch bonnet pepper me love your head. This veg. Mm. Perfect symmetry. Lightly seasoned. Lightly cooked. Just how I would like it, to tell you the truth. It's not fully cooked, but it's sweet and uh, sometimes you want something different. Sometimes you want to taste something where you just go in, have a seat with beautiful ambience. You pretty much have a panoramic view of the waterfront when you sit down at Pier 1 and you get exceptional food as well. This is one of my favorite, uh, the beef tenderloin. This is the beef tenderloin. Look at it. Well juicy, well secret, oh, some real oh, olive oil and garlic. Oh, right there, olive oil and garlic. And then you can scale it. Watch it. Wow. You see that? Up there. And you put him back. Yes, man. Then after I was grilling, give him some smoke. Give him some smoke flavor first. Yes. You see that? So it's just a high heat right now? Yeah, it's just a high heat. Right now, is that, is that medium rare may I do? Yeah, man. Medium rare. So I may not spend no whole of whole time with my medium rare, see? See? Everything with a light, yeah. light scissors. Yeah. Look at him. Juicy. You see the juice popping out yeah. of my master. If I want to look more flame, we do like this. Yeah, add it back to the other one. And dash them back. Yeah. Blaze fire, bonfire, man! Ah. So right now I'm actually ready. So I'm put him in this pan to third. You try to get him in that? Yeah. We get this. Mushroom and stuff. Ready? You're yeah. sizzling with that yeah. and then it's mushroom and... This is mushroom, onion rings and garlic. We have mushroom with some onion and, rings and, and some red onion and garlic with yeah. a little butter. That's what we we'll use on top it. Bernese butter, we use it to top it with herbs in it. So we tap it like this. Wow, so you tap it right yeah. now to that seasoning. Yeah, part. yeah. So you see, when I do it like this, when I'm sending it out to my customer, boom, like this. I send it to my customer like this, man. Just like that. Just like that. Hot and ready going outside. Chef so Bullen's ready to go outside, go fire some food to the people. Right, right now. Yeah. You know me, I'm a baked potato, I'm a the warmer. Yeah. Hey man, them depend the warmer, you wait for me, you know. Dying for me to use them up. Plate, it's plate the right here, so. See? I hear that sizzle, man. You hear that? You can't say you get cold food when you come up here, man. Ready? This is ready. And That's out the window. Yeah, going to the window. Smell fantastic. That's a fresh veg and good seasoning too. Yeah. As always, I tell you, I'm a mixer. So we're going to just smother all of that onto it. All of that oxtail can go right. Oh, look at that nice piece of medallion. You know, that is that oxtail. When you get it like that and you mix it up, man, you can feel some of the chunks. It's breaking off of the bone. It's tender. You can see total separation right there. There's a piece of bone that just completely separated. So you know that meat is in that gravy and in that sauce, that sweet, flavorful oxtail meat. Mm. Wow. First of all, there's not a lot of places that you can find oxtail anymore. I, mean, I go to a lot of restaurants and I don't even see oxtail on a lot of the menus. But we had to try the oxtail here. It's, it's really, really good. It goes well with the rice and peas, or rice and beans. Rice and peas, we are Jamaican, that's what we call it. And 
it's just exceptionally well cooked and it cooked right down slow cooked in a huge tub i'm probably thinking it's cooked in something similar to what that stew chicken was cooked on has that same cooking process just a longer cook with the flavors with the spices and and all of that just oh mouth watering talking enough talking more back to the action this is an ox tail i mean usually it used to be the ox that we get the tail from i mean it can be any type of cattle now Cow tail is what we call it in Jamaica. Generally, when you get the tail of a nice cow, it's gelatinous on the outside. It has a thick layer of fat. This is where the fat is on the outside, that layer of fat, or that layer of skin would have been out there. They peel the skin off. There's a layer of fat. There's the meat after that. And then there's a medallion of the bone after. And the marrow, which is from the bone, is what gives the pot all of that flavor when you're cooking it out. The bone is an essential part of it to give it flavor as well. It's just stupendous how much flavor this little piece of meat adds. There's a layer of fat and then there's that tender, tender, sweet meat that comes off of it. So tender, so sweet. Just really fat, literally. Look at that. It just literally fell off of the bone for me. Bone, meat. Meat, Matthew. Mm. It really just packs intense flavor. It takes a while to cook. You have to cook it with care. Think of the sweetest part of the beef that you can imagine. Although it's a tail, there's just something sweet about it. When it cooked down and stew, and it marinates and all of that, the fats render down, and the seasoning that you put on it soak through. And you know in Jamaica, we love to soak our things at least overnight. So we love to make the seasoning soak, as we say. So when that seasoning soaks in, and then you get that long cooking process, which just brings out the flavors, brings out the, the, brings out all of the fats and renders down into the one pot and that whole pot has that flavor and you add some scotch bonnet pepper some jamaican seasoning on it and it's just a wonderful delight man i can't tell you long time i'm not, I'm not, I'm not still and well worth the trouble well worth the time mm. you're paying for all of this meat look at this for that piece of meat the bone is actually heavier than the meat that's in there so can you imagine you're paying more for bone than you are for meat? Take this up now and yeah. do that in the bone. No, that's not bad manners, that's eating good food. It's not rude when you take up an tail bone here. Yeah. The meat is left in between the edges here. All of that meat that is in here, that's what you do. Yeah. It's a part of the culture. That's why I'm gonna understand how oxtail gets so expensive, you know. Like enough people who I eat oxtail, I'm not a deal with the bone, so. So when I eat it for, love it, make it belong to the people who started it, who can't afford it no more. We have to eat turkey neck instead of oxtail. Give it back with oxtail, man. So we can eat it like I was supposed to eat it, cause I'm not hear nobody. But well, I'm not gonna find that in the restaurant, <laughs> but I'm not hear nobody in the restaurant now. You hear me? Deal with the bone. If more want oxtail, I get some turkey neck and say, yo, run it just like oxtail. And everybody knows I get an oxtail that. 